Huh? Are my injuries... gone? Injuries that severe? How is that even... <sighs> What's there to be astonished about? Isn't this completely normal? This is Eastside, not that outdated syndicate. <laughs> the Western District is stuck in its own ways, oblivious to the fact that technology has evolved. The observation of BR-001 has propelled technological progress. We can now achieve super-loop communication, enabling us to defy the laws of time and space within the Black Ring for communication. The mechanized mining by drones has been a reality for quite some time now. What... what does it mean? It means that the skilled technicians you've been looking up to have become a thing of the past. This could be a dangerous trip. Are you sure you're all right with that? <laughs> Amidst adversity, this is the courage required. I'll clear a path for you. Negotiations? A single command could resolve it, and you wouldn't even realize the system update was happening. They're working their hearts out on production. Dealing with gang harassment every night. They hardly have a moment. <laughs> You're all complete idiots, believing you can negotiate with us. If it weren't for someone pulling the strings in the media, Nirvana wouldn't even waste time on you. Now, let's take care of those few influencer accounts. I remember there's a syndicate woman behind them. Seriously, why bother rescuing him? Those Paradisians are also a headache. Observation has verified that another powerful mania being has penetrated BR-002, obliterating the anomaly. This resulted in an instant dissipation of over half the energy possessed by the corpseborns. That intruder bears a striking resemblance to SHP. No, even more formidable. It must be the only experimental subject taken from the underground lab of Lone Island and NF-103. So, the purpose of the Black Ring in the underground... Can we describe it as... nourishing? Allowing the corpseborn to absorb human mania through the Black Ring, and feeding the strengthened corpseborn to SHP. The test yielded great success. From BR002's records, we can roughly infer the Underground's intentions in producing the Black Ring, and have a better grasp of SHP's significance. The only downside is that the expenses went beyond my initial estimates. What kind of nourishing? What... Uh, what test are you talking about? I thought we were here to negotiate, to talk about the future of the West District. We've put everything on the line. And you're up to what, exactly? Screw you! Are we nothing more than expenses to you? Is human life just an expense to you? What do you take us for? Leader, we're all counting on you. You hit Nirvana hard last time, proving what the inner bay workers are made of. We've still got the power, haven't we? We're in a position to talk terms with them, right? <laughs> Absolutely. We've reached this point because of our unwavering conviction. Our dreams will come to fruition. If you ever doubt it, just look to your hero. When have I ever disappointed you?
His strength is remarkable, but mentally, he's teetering on the edge. Rather than defiance, he's overwhelmed by sorrow and regret. I believe the marking won't work. I can't resonate with him, and I can't assimilate his mania. Hmm. I can sympathize. This man has spent his entire life trapped in inner bay within Syndicate's confines. He's never experienced a larger world. So this must be quite a shock for him. Recognizing their gap between us and Eastside highlights his intelligence. He has a broader perspective than his obstinate companions. Truly befitting of a leader who doesn't readily succumb to blind animosity. So, sir, would you kindly consider talking to your friends? We've already spent too much time on ruthless interrogations. Your assistance in this matter would be immensely valuable. See this, X? Just like that, we've got him hooked. The underground activity at BR002 is locked. <laughs> it's mind-blowing, really. To think even monstrosities like the Black Ring Corpus are just snacks for that thing. What in the world is going on down there? <laughs> anyway, we hit our mark. Now, let's wrap this up and keep the mess to a minimum. Go ahead and mark him. That's what a hush is for. I'm sorry for how Nirvana botched the W31 situation, but we can't let this worsen and affect more people. It's time to put an end to this. Give in. Let me be your voice. I will take control. That's the power of the mark. I can free your friends. Your sacrifices won't be meaningless. I'll work with Paradesos to fine-tune our operation, saving costs along the way. I'll remember you. We're all in this. For the greater good of humanity. I was in the dark. Whether the victory we were so passionately chasing means anything, how far the enemy we thought we could stand up to has evolved. I was totally out of the loop. Unaware that the West District's heyday had long gone, blind to my own limitations, yet naively believing I can play the hero to save the world. <sighs> How stupid. Samuel, it's not your fault, nor anyone else's. It was a blind fool who walked you into that dead end. The real mistake has always been mine. Tough break. Working so tirelessly with such a small frame. <laughs> Take it easy now. Donald's up and about, and he's got you covered. Ah, <sighs> it's great you haven't been taken down by Paradesos. Still got that bite in you. Yeah, it's nothing. Did a five, six year stint in Banyan Psychiatric Hospital, majored in being a psycho. Nightmares are a nightly thing for me. Know them inside out.
look away. Stay positive. We've got a long road ahead. Don't sink into gloom. Why shouldn't we believe? The moment I entered this black ring. No. Actually, when I first laid eyes on that maze outside, something crossed my mind. It's really his handiwork, huh? Was this maze made just to shield those corpseborns and block enemies? Is this constantly rising Black Ring High Tower solely for gathering strength for a grand revenge? You see, while it blocks our path, it also ensnares monsters and so many of the corruptors. Unlike other Black Rings that expand and devour endlessly, this one, nourished by the underground, just grows upward, pushing the epicenter of pollution farther away from people. But bear in mind, this time, it was my choice to embrace the Black Ring, and it will surely bring to life my deepest desire. I've always been too trusting, and it's bitten me before. So, I'm putting my faith in you now, Chief. Tell me honestly. Could Julian still be alive? Does his determination linger in this black ring? <laughs> oh, that's a relief to hear. So, this place is essentially a massive drifter camp. And Julian? Still the same old Julian. Don't let his constant self-deprecation and his begging around to be a leader fool you. When it all comes crashing down, when Rustfire hits the hardest, he's always the last one standing. He's the genius who created this drifter camp in a place like Syndicate complete with mazes, traps, and hidden paths. In this brutal world, he managed to carve out a sanctuary for the homeless and vulnerable. I just knew it. <laughs> this is great. We've got a shot at victory. Chief, let's head up and track down Julian. You've got those shackles, right? Time to turn the rotten into miraculous, wake him up, and snatch back the Black Ring. He claimed the Black Ring was the key to his wish. <laughs> I know him so well. He never longed for vengeance. What he's always been harping on about is... Being an architect and bringing Syndicate back to its heyday. Syndicate is ours! Rustfire will take back everything that was lost! Our fires will rage and burn you all to ashes!
our fires will raise! <laughs> Syndicate belongs to us! I am weak. Always have been. No sturdy legs to stand on. No formidable power to wield. Nor a constantly soaring spirit to fight with. So, it's a constant cycle of failure. A never-ending loss for me. But, even for someone like me, there are still roles I can fulfill. see it now. Next, it's your turn. That's what he meant when he said that. You all still think I'm capable? Dream. Seemed like a lot of old pals dropped by. I hate to say it, but part of me thought Julian might have thrown in the towel. He turned to the black ring, lost in his own despair, and I just couldn't pull him back when it counted. So, I appreciate it. Thanks for letting me know he hasn't changed. Still battling to the bitter end. It's just a botched plan, no worries. I've become accustomed to setbacks. After a setback, just pick yourself up and move forward. <laughs> it's just the way I am, a remnant of a past era. The escape plan is in full swing. Sure, the outside may be tough, but it's not all doom and gloom. It's being trapped in Syndicate that's been our agony. We look to the West District from the Inner Bay, and to East Side from there. So, why not step out of this and see the bigger picture? Sounds good to me. Would that leave you feeling unsatisfied? Oh, you're not like me. You have your own aspirations. Well, I'll lend you a hand. The Shackles of the Sinner, Dis City's Shepherd, the Second Black Ring's Envoy, the Idol who ignited a craze in Rustfire, the one my closest friend sacrificed his life to save. Paradesos is right. If there's anyone who can change the course of things, it must be you.
this the prohibition? Just like Margaret's ruling, it makes you utterly powerless. Looks like Julian sacrificing lives for your sake really got on your nerves. Don't worry, I'm not cut out for this. I can't even meet other people's expectations, so why would I do that to you? Good talk, though. Go after what you want. You're here for something you want, too, right? It's not about lust fire, nor is it about saving the world. It's about cherishing what matters most to you. You've come to discover the truth and put an end to it all so you can return to their side, alive and well. Well then, off you go. I'll pave the way for you and do you a solid. After it's all said and done, once we're out of here, you'll have to repay me for sure. As you command, my lord. But from here on out, you'll have to be on your own for a while. Slack off and catch up with some old pals. Hearing you, I really do miss them. I'll catch up with you. Later. the remnants of a past era. In our time, we didn't look down on the weak, and being cruel wasn't a badge of honor. In that era, we didn't mock ideals. I can wholeheartedly say that everything I've done has been driven by love. Love for friends, love for ideals, Love for every person around us who's fighting to make it. Love for this syndicate. Love for all the beauty that's been lost and the potential that's yet to be realized. Time marches on. And maybe our era has already come to an end. The new era has seen its fair share of cruelty and places greater emphasis on power and profit. But even this era will eventually become history. What will the next era look like? It will undoubtedly be shaped by those who are currently fighting the fight. I can't wait.